Because of all their problems, they went from earnings per share of $10.18 in 2022 to minus $12.63 in 2023. However, the fundamentals of the business should be fine. Can this situation create a once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunity for us? 3M was going through some tough times. They were facing a number of really significant lawsuits against them. First, they produced military earplugs that did not work properly, and so thousands of military service members and veterans have sued 3M for hearing damage. But recently, 3M has announced that they reached a $6 billion settlement so they are taking care of that problem. But that is not all. Just a few days ago, court approved 3M settlement over forever chemicals in public drinking water systems. And depending on what additional chemicals are found, the amount paid out by 3M will range from $10.5 billion to 12.5 billion. So both of those settlements are one of the biggest in the US history. And all of that trouble is of course reflected in a lower stock price. But that is not all. They also recently completed a spin-off of Solventum, its healthcare business, which pushed its stock price even further down. So let's see how big an impact will those settlements and the spin-off have on the company and its future? And can this situation create a once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunity for us? Because if they will manage to pull through, they can emerge stronger than ever. If you invested $1,000 into this company 10 years ago, you could buy around 8 shares, which would now be worth something close to $840. And this company is a dividend king, so in that time you would get $413 as dividends. So if we add together the current value of shares and the dividends, we get $1,253, and that is a gain of 25% in 10 years. Not a lot. And the main reason for that is the fact that since its peak in January 2018, the price went down by 63%. Such a drop may sometimes create a great investment opportunity, but it can also be a value trap. So let's take a look at the company itself. Individual Insiders, that is an X, 0.1% of the company is owned by individual insiders. So that is not a lot. Unfortunately, the management does not have its skin in the game. And are they buying? That is an X. In the last year, we see only sale transactions from individual insiders. And the super investors own this company. That is a check. There are four super investors that put their money into 3M. And are they buying right now? That is an X. Lee Ainsley and Jensen Investment are selling. And for Jensen, it is a reduction of almost 37% of their investment. Return on invested capital. That is a check at 19.2% 10-year median returns. And we want to see this number higher than 10%. So that is nice. They have a stable history of returns, except last year when they went down by 26.4%. Why is that? Well, let's take a look at net profit margin. It is an X at minus 21.4%. So they are losing money. And the main reasons for that are their expenses, which went up from 19.3 billion to 65.8 billion dollars. And probably the majority of those expenses are related to the lawsuits and the settlements and everything around that. And now let's take a look at share buyback. 
it is a check. In the last 10 years, they bought back 16.5% of their shares. And what do we know about the debt? It is an X. It would take them two and a half years to pay the long-term debt with a current free cash flow. And we want to see it under two years. So it's not perfect, but it's not a major problem either. Revenue growth. That is an X at 0.6% 10 year compound annual growth rate. So it is rather stagnant. And free cash flow growth, that is an X at 1.9% in the last 10 years. So also here a disappointing growth. And earnings per share growth, that is another X. They are losing money in 2023, so there is no growth. Because of all their problems, they went from earnings per share of $10.18 in 2022 to minus $12.63 in 2023. That is a huge fall. But it is most probably just a short-term problem caused by the lawsuits and not a long-term trend. So we may find an opportunity in all that mess. The dividend yield is 5.8%. So shareholders can expect to receive $6.04 per share in dividends over the next year. And the payout ratio, that is an X at 65%. And we want to see the payout ratio somewhere between 20 and 50%. If the payout ratio is high, we get a bigger portion of the earnings, so that is nice. But it also leaves the company with less money to operate and grow, or less money to pay the settlements. So that can have a negative long-term impact on the company. And what about dividend growth? It is a check at 1.7% five-year growth rate. And the dividend is growing for 65 years. They are, of course, a dividend king. So it is unlikely that they will cut their dividend anytime soon, even with all their problems. Last year, they distributed to shareholders $3.3 billion through dividends. So all in all, it is a nice dividend. But if we look at our stock ranking pro, we see that there are 22 companies with a better dividend score than 3M. So there is room for improvement. To value 3M, we will have to estimate its growth for the next 10 years and we will create three scenarios of its future. So, in the low scenario, we will estimate a growth of 1% for the entire 10 years. In the medium, 2% and then 3%. And in the high scenario, 4% and then 5% growth. So, with such estimates, the intrinsic value in the low scenario is $98, in the medium, $110, and in the high scenario, $129. But we have to always apply a margin of safety to those prices. I use a 30% one and that gives me enough room for mistakes. I may be wrong with my estimates, but thanks to the margin of safety, I minimize a chance of getting myself into any serious trouble. And with such a margin, we get in the low scenario $68, in the medium $77 and in the high one $90. And the current price is around $92. So it seems that this stock is currently very close to its fair value. 3M is going through some tough times. However, the fundamentals of the business should be fine. And when the dust settles, they may return to profitability. It seems that this is also what the market believes, which is why the price is fair and not extremely cheap. So it may not be an opportunity of a lifetime because the company is not absurdly cheap. But on the other hand, we can acquire a healthy dividend king 
at a fair price. So that is something to consider. And if you like this video, then you may find my analysis of Target interesting. It is also a dividend king. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.